This is my introduction of trend lines on Bitcoin. We're looking at technical analysis of Bitcoin. We're looking at the effect of buyers and sellers on Bitcoin, period. That's it. We're looking at the weekly chart. Why the weekly chart? Because on the weekly, we have a lot of data. Over the long term, buyers and sellers give signals. This is what the chart is telling, and I'll go quickly over it. So what you need to follow is trend lines, moving averages, resistance and support levels, and volume. So what do we have here? The orange is the MA50 on the weekly chart. Each point on the chart is the previous 50 days of data. The white line is the MA200. Each point in the chart is the average of the last 200 days of data for Bitcoin. What's the first thing you notice about the white line? It's on an uptrend since here, since June 2021, but if you extrapolate potentially, it's even for a longer period of time. So it's going up to the right. That means the momentum of Bitcoin is up all the time, even when it corrects like this. So that's the MA200. MA50 on the weekly chart, here was flat, turned bullish, turned up. Once it turned up, did it turn down right away? No, it went up for quite a while. Then it topped, it turned down. Once it's turned down, what did it do? It continued going down up to here. Once it turns, going up what did it do it continued to go up so what does that tell you when the ma50 is going up it's bullish when it's going down it's bearish buy low sell high when it's up short bitcoin when it's going down is it time right now to short bitcoin no is it time to buy bitcoin potentially yes so let's go over the sections here when it turned up the MA50 turned up around here when the price was already here at $30,000, not at the beginning. So that was your trigger. And then when it topped here, what was the MA50 doing? Still going up. Would you have sell? No. At this stage when it topped, did you know that it would correct and continue up? Potentially, yes. It did that? No. It corrected down and find support where? The MA50. It bounced up. Once it bounces up, what can you do? Is you can do, you can draw this trend line. So one point, two point, and that's your trend line. So the price followed the MA50, went away, touch it again, bounce again. Continue went over this top here at $60,000. Could, could have it continue for a while? Yes, but it didn't. It stopped around 66, 67, I think, $1,000. Then it started correcting. So you're in the same situation as here. It could have stopped at 60,000, but it didn't, it continued. It could have stopped at the MA50, it didn't. Then it broke down. And this candle here is huge. This whole candle is all the way, all the way below the MA50. That would have been a big, big signal. But you still have your trend line. That green candle here at the bottom is almost all below the trend line. That's a warning sign. On top of that, the MA50 turned down. Once you saw that, you had to do something. Either you take profits here or you get out. Pretty much the two options. If you get out, good. If you took big chunk of profits, good. The price came back and touched the MA50 again. But now because we're below, it becomes resistance. It topped and then it came back down again. This was the last sign before the correction. So we went down. Last time to get out at the maximum profit. After that, what do you do? Well, you have one point here and a second point here. You draw a trend line, exactly like we did before. Now the trend line is going down. MA50 is going down. Is it time to get in? No. Why? Because the momentum is going down. So you have to wait until the momentum changes. Goes at least flat and ideally up so then you let the price go down we even broke the ma200 here became resistance and we went even lower lower point was fifteen thousand sixteen thousand dollars now we bounce here did we know that we had stopped this downtrend here maybe why because we we broke to the upside after this trend line but what will you have in front of us 
ME200 as a resistance, MA50 as a resistance. It's going to be easy to break? No. But what happened just prior to this? Look at this. Huge amount of volume. Very little price action. What does that tell you? The sellers here came down in volume and the buyers came up in value. So the buyers accumulated here. With that buying, they stopped the downtrend. With that buying, they changed the momentum of Bitcoin. And this green candle here, after the trend line was broken out, indicated that the buyers were winning. Then we went, we followed the MA200 and we broke the MA200. So now we're following the MA200. But the MA200 is on an uptrend. So that's bullish already. That's good. We're following the MA200. That's still good. And during this phase, volume dropped dramatically because there was doubt. What do, what's going to happen here? What the buyers are going to do, what the sellers are going to do. But now the trend line becomes your friend. And another thing happened that is quite bullish is the MA50 turned here. Here from down to flat and started to go up around here. So when the price was at around $30,000. And now it's starting to go up. We have seen in the past that when it starts to go up, it's very bullish. So you have to be aware of that and you follow that trend line. If you had done so, you accumulate. So technically, from this point on, when we broke the trend line down, could have started accumulating all the way here. And once we got this green candle here, $33,000, $34,000, bullish trend started up again. But we only had one point here, this candle. And if not, we're in a rectangle here. We're trying trading sideways. So it's not an uptrend, but the AME 200 is up and the AME 50 is up. So this helps you a little bit. After that, once we touched again this point and we broke out, you had two points and that's your trend line. And we have been respecting that trend line so far. We don't know anything about Bitcoin. We're up. So would you sell right now Bitcoin? MA50 is going up. Is it turning to go flat? No. And the MA200, is it turning down? It has, in this chart, it has never turned down. Momentum is up. And the trend line, have we broken the trend line down? No. So you have three indicators here. Bullish, bullish, bullish. Would you sell Bitcoin? No. Would I? No. It's not financial advice. So now let's talk about support and resistance levels. We stopped here the last time in 2021. Then we went back up here in November 2021. We got a wick, but we had a couple of touches here, and then we got rejected. What happened here? We broke above it. So once we broke above it, it becomes support, not resistance anymore. Then we traded sideways, and that's what we have been doing for the last four weeks. And we're using this as support right now. As long as this support holds and we are doing a check right now, so meaning that we broke out, we went as high as 74,000 something, and now we touch back. If we move away from it, this is extremely bullish and we're going a lot higher. I repeat, ME200 bullish, ME50 bullish, trend line bullish. We broke the previous resistance that becomes support and we are at support right now. What do you do? Sell, buy, or hold. In my position, if I look at this, at this stage is potentially the last buying opportunity of Bitcoin at this level before it goes up. I don't know anything about Bitcoin. I'm just basing it on the chart. Obviously, I know more about Bitcoin that can help me, but I'm just following the charts right now for all the beginners here. Now, people are panicking or it's going down, everything's down, okay. Well, this move started at 27,000 and we are at 66,000. If you bought at the top here, well, yeah, it's no fun. 74,000 and now we're trading at what? 66,000. That's $8,000 lower, of course. But if you bought at 31,000, does that 4,000 change anything? No. That's why you need to know your TA, know when to get in, know when to get out. So this is my take on Bitcoin. It is absolutely 
no time to panic. It's one of the last times potentially that we can buy Bitcoin at this price, 66,600. Every other indicator in the chart is bullish and we are at support. Let's see what's going to happen next. This was my introduction of trend lines on Bitcoin. Do you need tons of indicators? No. Is it simple? Yes. Should everybody know about this? Yes. Does everybody know about it? No. So people who are trading every five minutes, every four hours, good for you. I cannot do that. But here it's pretty clear to me times when you can get in Bitcoin, times when you can get out if you want very successfully. But that's on a weekly frame. I'm not trading every single day. I can define accumulation periods. I can define selling periods in the weeks. So it gives me time to make my decision. So that's it. People hate TA, they think it's too complicated. You can make it simple and be easy for you to understand. You won't get the maximum bottom, you won't get the maximum top, but at least you will not lose money and that's critical. Learn about TA and apply it to the assets that you're going to follow. If you cannot draw simple trends like, like that in your asset, move to another asset that respect these trend lines. It is as simple as that. There's thousands of stocks. There's thousands of cryptos. Some do not follow these trend lines. And if they don't follow it, you don't have any help. Buyers and sellers are not giving you good information. So what do you do? You avoid those assets because you're going to lose money and go with the ones that give you clear, simple signals. That's it. So I hope you enjoyed everybody. Hit the like if you enjoyed this video. See you on the next one.